Hi, uh, I'm Daur Brukit, I'm creative director, uh, but what I like to do the most is taking photos for Instagram. So that's how I spend the most of my day. But uh, when I'm not taking photos for Instagram, I'm working in the ugliest building in town. It's a former toilet paper factory. And it's actually an advertising agency, Brukit, Tanjinic and Gray. Uh, very cheap rent, I can recommend. Uh, it's a little bit ugly, but uh, we repainted it a bit. So we proved with the graphic design you can make a cake out of shit. Uh, we have a special uh, sister company called Brigada. They are a retail design company. They also designed our office. The brief was you have to use all the garbage that we collected through the years. Uh, so we have uh, chandeliers made of old uh, antennas and all kind of crap collected. Uh, what we also like to do in our office, besides working, is uh, this. Uh, this is a styrofoam uh, pool uh, that we usually organize during parties. Uh, you can imagine how much we suffered now and we don't have parties for a year and a half now. But uh, what we learned is a very important thing. Uh, if you make a styrofoam pool, uh, uh, these this little styrofoam balls are uh, touching your skin and you get extremely horny. Uh, so all the guests, com in combination with quality alcohol, uh, they got really, really horny. And people sit in this styrofoam pool and you can just see their heads. You don't see what they do with their hands. Uh, so uh, our cleaning lady says that, that the small balls were all uh, glued into the bigger balls in the morning. So they've been very busy with their hands under the styrofoam. I really recommend that if you organize a party, do that. Of course, there is... A serious question, what to do with this styrofoam afterwards? You cannot just throw it away, it's really not uh, ecological. So what you can do, you can take it to the nearest chicken farm. They have a uh, very good use of it, so uh, chickens are happy and guests are happy. Uh, when we don't throw parties, we also do some work, not too much. Uh, and. Yeah, we have, we have some awards for this work. Uh, we were second most efficient uh, independent advertising agency in the world. Uh, campaign, British campaign listed us among uh, best independent uh, agencies, 17 best independent agencies. Advertising Age awarded us as a small independent agency of the year. And when you get all these awards, then WPP, the biggest uh, marketing group in the world, uh, is getting interested. And in 2017, we have been approached by WPP. This is former CEO of WPP, Sir Martin Sorrell. And uh, this is what happens with all the best independent agencies of the year. They're not independent anymore. So uh, in 2017, we have been acquired by WPP and we have become part of the Global Grey Group and we have become a brand, product, retail design hub and the digital shopper hub for the Grey Glo Group Global Network. So we are not a small independent agency anymore. We are part of much, much bigger family. And uh, I mean, it has pluses and minuses, but I will talk about that later, if I will remember. We'll see. Uh, I don't know, 15 years ago, 16 years ago, uh, something really important happened to us. Because from day one, when we opened an agency in 1995, we've been listening how internet will change our lives, uh, especially for us from small communities. Uh, who be believed that you know if you want to be globally successful, you have to be you have to live in New York or Paris and London or Hamburg or you know somewhere uh, in the big cities in the world. You cannot live in Zagreb, Croatia. Uh, but with this little project that I'm going to show you, we discovered that uh, this is not the case anymore, and that 
world really, really changed for better. Uh, this was a small annual report we did for uh, Podravka, the biggest uh, food company in the region. And it was made of a book with numbers and a small book with the Podravka secret recipes in the middle. But to get the secret recipes, you had to prove that you, can, uh, that you have basic cooking skills. So the book was empty from the inside, but if you bake it uh, 25 minutes on 100 degrees, you will get the recipes in the book, you will get uh, the illustrations uh, of food. It took us a lot of time to, 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 to come up with, with the right color to print this invisible book so it can be baked uh, to stabilize the color and so on and so on. But it paid back on the end because uh, we posted this little story on some design portals and 48 hours after that we got a call from Korean television uh, and we, re we, we understood that uh, media all around the globe pick up the story and uh, and was writing about this little idea and we realized oh fuck something really has changed you don't have to be rich you don't have to be powerful you don't have to live in New York you don't have to uh, have a PR agency in London uh, if you want to talk to the whole world you just need to have something interesting to say and the world will listen. And with this little pad that we all have in our pockets, we can talk to the whole planet, every one of you, with the really, really minimum cost or almost nothing. But you need to say something interesting because everybody can do that. And never in the human history it was the case that one single human can talk to the planet I instantly on no cost. Uh, this is really, really crazy. And we realized that 16 years ago that this is something really, really revolutionary. And we use that for everyday business, for small companies in Croatia, for small companies in the region. We use that opportunity that we all have. Uh, let me show you a couple of examples. Uh, some years ago, a winery from Croatia uh, asked, to re asked us to rebrand uh, their wine, uh, to change the name, so they will try to approach the global market. They had really beautiful wine, but there are so many good wines on the planet. And let me show you what we did. So what we did, uh, we filmed this little movie in the garage of my friend photographer for a couple of hundreds of euros. Uh, we, we mounted a piece of white paper on the front with all the information on the back and invited people to, to be inspired by the wine. And you know that you get inspired by the wine. After one glass of wine, you start to get ideas. So we just opened the space for these ideas on the label. Very simple idea. Uh, it has what a fuck moment because the front, pay, the front label is completely blank. Uh, we had this little uh, low quality film that we send it to wine bloggers uh, and different wine media around the world that we googled. We, don't, we didn't know any journalists who are following wine and who are writing about wine but to just Google them and send them this. And guess what? These people have to write about something every day. Uh, so they are in search for new interesting stories. Uh, and then th if the story is interesting and relevant, they publish it. And then you have distributors around the world who are hungry for new ideas, new products to offer to, to their buyers. And guess what? Uh, Stina was... Uh, was approached by the distribu distributors around the world. Uh, now you can drink that wine in Michelin star restaurants in Europe, uh, in Four Seasons in Canada, and 
so many other places in the world. Uh, so it was that easy. What we learned on that, in that case, we also applied on the next one. Uh, 166 year old, I think, winery in Slovenia is producing, I apologize, I'm an idiot, is uh, producing really beautiful uh, wine, uh, sparkling wine, but uh, they didn't have uh, access to the global market. So instead of creating a new label, instead of creating a new name, we created a new product. In spite of a tradition of 169 years making quality wines, the Ratkonska Gorica winery never really made its way to global markets outside Slovenia. Her sparkling wine remained a well-kept secret the world was about to discover. To help them, we sought inspiration in the sunny hills around the vineyard and found it in pitch darkness. Science says that even minimal exposure of wine to light can change its aroma for the worse. So we decided to switch the entire production process from day to night. First, the night harvest. Then maturation in 300-year-old cellars inside a cave, completely void of light. Bottling in 99.8% black glass and sealing inside black foil. We call the wine untouched by light and presented and tasted it in complete darkness. With a simple twist in the production process, we gave a new life to a product previously left unchanged for centuries. We're working on the patent for the new production method and the value of the bottle has increased sixfold. The Ratkonske Gorica brand is now on the world's wine map, sparkling its way from local Slovenian stores to places like Casamona in St. Moritz and high-end stores in China. Untouched by light, because the best things happen in the dark. Especially if you have somebody you like with you in, in darkness and a bottle of champagne, it can be a lot of fun. What I really believe that advertising agency, in advertising agencies, you have a lot of people who are uh, working on their creative muscle every day. Everybody is creative. But, you know, in creative agencies, we practice that uh, and we build that muscle every morning. So we think that this creativity can be used not only for creating ads, and best ads today don't look like ads, but we can also be used to create new products and services with communication solution built in a product. So instead of trying to find original angle on your generic product, maybe we can create you very unique and interesting product that everybody will talk about, that media will write about, and the product that you will have to invest less in traditional advertising. Uh, these products can, it can be a bottle of wine, but we can use the same uh, methodology and the same way of working on so many different things. This product can be an app. <laughs> Kako bi se pogreške u pisanju hrvatskih riječi smanjile, Lapsu se spašava isto imena aplikacija. Pomoći vam može nova aplikacija. Zove se Lapsus.
otvoriš telefon tako da stisneš pravilno i spisim vrijeme. Ako govorite točno, dobijete megabajte besplatnog prometa. Probably the user with zero correct answers was me. Uh, what was interesting about this project that uh, I think one third of users were not even users from A1 Telcom, uh, so they haven't been receiving free data. But uh, A1 had access to uh, to their non-users in uh, in that target group, which was really unique opportunity for for that telecom. Uh, in our agency, we like uh, we are very lazy, so we really like uh, quick and simple solutions. And you know, when we don't have to work hard, uh, for example, like this, we have been approached by the local chain uh, called Yes that was selling jeans, and we did this uh, city light campaign that was mostly seen on online. Uh, so it was just one city light in the center of the city with a small print on the bottom. Uh, and you know how people, they like to see, you know, they have, they're very noisy, nose, whatever. Uh, so people were uh, looking at a small print and the sp small print was saying, at this moment, your bum is completely exposed. If it were in a sexy pair of jeans, it, was, uh, it would attract attention all of the time. Uh, and yeah, we did this little JPEG and it's still uh, running around the internet uh, and it was probably the most efficient campaign we ever did. Or example like this, uh, before semi-finals at the World Cup when Croatia was playing with England, our client uh, who is producing uh, chamomile tea uh, was sending uh, chamomile tea to Prince Harry in London, saying, keep calm and dream on. Uh, we, had, we did it one day before the game. In the morning, we had 50 different uh, media was reporting on that. And we had a growth of sales of chamomile tea in the middle of football season. And somebody would say you cannot advertise chamomile tea uh, combined with football, but yes, you can. And you can do it very effectively for very little investment. Actually, the investment was five boxes of tea sent to London. Uh, or in the middle of uh, Corona crisis, uh, this is a famous local brand of beans saying this is the most efficient way to keep your social distance. And even this was this wasn't even a physical billboard. We just did f this. We did it in Photoshop and distributed. Uh, through some uh, through some pages on Facebook, very popular pages, but basically we didn't we didn't pay any advertising, and we had reach uh, we had reach of one million people in two days, uh, just by posting uh, in this Facebook group uh, this little ad that looks like billboard, but actually it was not uh, a real billboard, and the re reaction was really hilarious. Uh, we also like to, to use old TVCs uh, it was, and making a new one from the old one. And uh, so the next one is the example, uh, of course, all, also from lockdown, how to make a TVC in two days from old TVCs. <laughs> We work a lot with Coca-Cola company uh, for six, seven years now for seven. We, we've been working on seven of their brands like Cappy, 
Smart, uh, Remer, Quelle, uh, Adez, Coke. It was very interesting experience because Coke is probably the most advanced marketing company in the world. Uh, let me show you a couple of examples. We live in a world full of birds, but it's time. But why not? But why not? I'm gonna float like a butterfly. But why not? Sing like a bee. Nutritious. But why not? Delicious. Delicious. But why not? This first campaign for Adez was done in traditional way. We got a brief, we go home, we come up with solutions and so on. But after that, uh, Coca-Cola accepted a completely new way of working and they started to do everything through design sprints. And that's very interesting because design sprints were organized for creative solutions, for strategy solutions. Uh, even on the end, we've been uh, collaborating on creating new products. Uh, and it's very interesting when you combine people from creative agency who are let's say, uh, creative, and uh, you combine it with people from the company who are maybe a little bit less creative, but they know everything about category. But people from agency, they are creative, but they, are not, they don't know shit about category, basically. So working together in, uh, in a form of a design sprint, uh, we come up with much more interesting solutions than uh, when we work uh, by ourselves. And uh, the last campaign for a DES, uh, this is the result of this uh, five days sprint where it was created. And it's real. We found it on YouTube and we bought the film from this lady. Today, give cows a break. <coughs> Try a does. Coca-Cola is trying to, uh, to minimize uh, the plastic footprint and we had a chance to collaborate with the DES on the first paper bottle that they're developing. Uh, and the latest project we did for them and it was not published yet, so I think you will see it for the first time. Hola. I would say the color is calming. Kind of bluish with a pinch of red. There's definitely red in it. I imagine this is how the color of gold tastes like. With all the bubbles dancing around. Green is my first choice. I can sense the freshness of the forest, with the breeze just making its way through the trees. Like a dip into the ocean. Maybe even like starting a journey.
brings us together. Uh, I'm a graphic designer. I like design books, but I also like that you know somebody reads my book. And the book with the bi biggest uh, production budget is the annual report. Uh, and I think this annual report, I mean, more people saw it uh, in newspapers than physically, but it's so stupidly uh, crazy. Uh, I will show it to you. No challenge can harm our business results. Everything we do at Address, we test for challenges. Ooh. Our results too. This year, they are bound in an annual report made of materials with special qualities. Thank you very much for your attention uh, and for the end just a reminder that all of you have this little pad in your pocket and if you have something interesting to say the whole world will listen. This is unique opportunity in history of humankind and don't forget to use it. Thank you very much.